The engine is working the same way as the chassis in the way that you have several choices in um, the start and you move on from there. Now the way out. Actually, let's start by reading the description. The engine is the main source of power and locomotion for the vehicle. It produces heat energy typically by combustion fuel, thus producing mechanical motion. The larger the engine is, or faster the engine moves, the more power it typically generates. Make sure the engine you design will fit in your chassis. We are going to make sure about that. The layout of the engine is following. We have a sin single layout, straight layout, V layout, and flat layout. Now, for the first engine, we're going with the cheapest one, which is single layout. Single cylinder engine has only one piston. They are small, they are cheap and easy to design and very low maintenance. But only one cylinder, they are too weak uh, to power larger vehicles. Single cylinder engines are very reliable and very cheap. They like good stats in pretty much everything else. But we don't care. Now, the single cylinder uh, layout can obviously have only one single cylinder. One cylinder. <laughs> that was redundant. For example, if we went with the flat, we could have six. If we went with the straight, we could have. Okay, so six is the most. Yeah, but I saw eight and more in the game before. But for now, we're going with single cylinder. The more cylinders. Wait, single cylinder engine has one cylinder. They are small, cheap, easy to design, and very well maintenance, but only one cylinder, they are too weak. Always oh, the same thing. Uh, the more cylinders, the more displacement. More displacement, more power, and less fuel. Now, the fuel, we have two possibilities, two-stroke gas or four-stroke gas. Two-stroke gas is the one we're going with. Most two-stroke motors require lubrication to be included with the fuel. This is because the crankcase is already being used to pump air and fuel into the cylinder. Two-stroke engines are easier to build and design. They're cheaper as well. They boost uh, better fuel mileage and reliability, however they're less efficient overall. The four-stroke gas would make it harder though. Four-stroke motors remove the need for oil to be mixed with the fuel. This is the most common type of gasoline engine. Four-stroke motors are considered average all around. Yeah, we're still going with the two-stroke. It's cheaper. And we're going to have natural aspirated induction system. Natural aspirated engines use only atmospheric pressure to draw in the air to the combustion system. And the engine name for our first engine is going to be Spark 1... Well, we could have 1V2... A, which means one cylinder, one cylinder, two-stroke gas, natural aspirated engine. So let's design it. Again, we are back here on our screen. You can see that the reliability of such an engine is extremely high. The rating is above average, but the rest not good. It's going to change now though, because the displacement of the engine for me is going way down. You can see that the engine cost varies quite a lot. If I went all the way up, it would cost us 185 bucks. And if I go all the way down, it costs only 95. And as we want cheap, we want cheap. So I'm going to reduce uh, width of the engine, which is going to make it a bit cheaper, but I'm going to bump up the project cost. And I'm also going... wait... Hmm, I might probably make this one a bit... a bit more heavy. Because that significance significantly lowers the engine project cost. So let's make it very heavy. Great! Worst possible engine. Now, the engine design performance. Uh, again, as before, we're going to be cheap on everything uh, else than design focus. So, wait. Actually, if the engine is a bit more complicated. Now, I want to go down... Wait, 
Okay, engine design technology. We're going to lower this, all of it, immediately to make the engine as cheap as possible. So technology, manufacturing techniques, component quality, and material quality all down. That makes the engine uh, cost drop to 68 bucks per single uh, unit. I'm going to go with the focus up, which is going to bump up uh, the completion date and also the project cost. But actually, well, I'm going to make it cheap. Uh, the focus on performance, fuel economy, and dependability is what I want to do. But now the question is what I'm going to do here. The engine at this point has 4 horsepower and RPM of 1160. If I one all the way down with this. Yeah, the engine would be way cheaper, but it drops down to 2 horsepower, 630 RPM. That makes it a bit, bit worse. If I increase the revo uh, revolutions, the cost of the engine would go up significantly too. And the design requirements as well, but the engine power, yeah, but the overall rating is not uh, affected by that. And you know, two horsepower is good. And anything that I would like to do with the torque, uh, not really. What about fuel economy? Uh, that actually lowers the engine power even more. Mm. Never mind, let's leave it like this. Uh, it's going to be a definitely shitty engine, though the design is very intricate. So you can see that the completion date will be four, wait, 1st of April 1900, and the estimated unit cost will be 50 bucks. The project cost will be 100,000, but that is cool. Our engine will be greatly reliable and quite well rated, though the power of the engine is not good and the manufacturing requirements either. Actually, you know what, I want the engine power to be at least 2 stars, so... Let's make it like this. Okay, so the estimated unit cost will be 62 bucks and we're up to 5 horsepower. Yeah, that's better, that's better. So let's go with this. And as the last thing, we are going to manufacture the gearbox. The gearbox is, again, a pretty simple thing in the beginning. We have a manual gearbox, that's the only thing we can have, the automats are not yet designed. Manual transmission have a driver-operated clutch, which regulates torque transfer and a shifter to change gears. Manual gearboxes are less comfortable to drive, however, they are cheap and perform better than automatic gearboxes. Uh, we can decide the amount of gears now. We have from 1 to 4. We can have 1, a single straightforward gear. The more gears, the better fuel economy and performance will be with proper gear ratios. On the flip side, the more expensive and complex the gearbox will be. 2 is slightly better, forward and reverse. 3 is uh, forward high, low and reverse, and 4 is what most know as a free speed. Uh, okay, it's forward high, medium and low and rear. Now, I'm tempted to go with the free, but we're gonna start with a 2 gear gearbox, forward and reverse. The, it will be geared for, say, generic, I don't want anything special at this point, and we are going to call this one... Hmm, uh, beast, uh, beast, no, no. <laughs> that would be ironic. Uh, cat. Hmm. Wait. 
Cat Kathleen. Okay, Kathleen doesn't need to mean anything. So Kathleen. Uh, Kathleen again has a couple of things we can do here. The less than engine. Uh, yes, this is okay. We are going to reduce the material quality, the component quality, the technology and manufacturing techniques significantly. But we're going to increase uh, the design part of the process. So that's going to make it quite more expensive. Yes, the project cost would be 78,449 bucks. But you can see that the ratings are not that bad. Uh, actually, what I'm thinking is you can uh, make a difference by moving from uh, the Kosgi ratio to wide as well. Would that make any difference here? Okay, why would lower the gearbox power? Which one is the best? Well, let's go like this. So it will be mainly like close to each other. And it's going to cost 48 bucks to produce one. Project cost will be 77,837 bucks for the project. So let's get the gearbox done as well. Now, if you look at the chassis, you can see that our chassis will be available in seven months. The engine in three months and gearbox in three months as well. The ratings for these objects are 47 for the cat link. Wait. Our butterfly chassis will have a rating of 36. Okay, that's way lower. And what about the spark engine? Actually, not bad, 53. That's pretty decent. So what we have to do now is wait until these components will be designed for us. But we have another type of work in the meantime. We have to set up an overall strategy on our expansion. Now, Prague, as I mentioned, is a fairly, fairly, and I mean fairly, poor city at the moment. It has only 207 per capita uh, income, while for example Frankfurt or Cologne or Hamburg has 250. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the German market first and export our cars in there. By this we will be able to survive better. So, every destination that you operate or uh, own, you know, uh, that's, that's a figure of speech, can have a factory or a branch office or both. In Prague we have a factory and branch office that we are paying for. We have 1500 bucks per month paid for our branch. Now I'm going to close it at this point because we don't need it, we are not selling any cars. And anyway, if we wanted to reopen it later, you can see that it costs about uh, two and a half thousand bucks, not even that, to construct it. And as we will not have our cars or components ready for at least a couple months now, it's a better idea to close it immediately. So let's uh, skip one turn so that I can show you what is happening in the world. So you can see that our profits immediately drop to minus 73,983 bucks and our cash dropped from one and a half million to 1.42 million. Uh, this is because we are paying insane amount of money for research now. You can see in our expenses that we are paying 68,216 for R&D cost, 
and the earning labor cost 2852 bucks. We are also paying a bit for the factory because we have it prepared to be um, building cars, but we don't have any cars yet. Here are the news. Uh, we have monthly losses and a lot of new vehicle body types available. Uh, this is just a um, regular start of the game ma message, so I'm going to delete it and we are going to continue. There's nothing in gear times yet, so let's skip another month into the future and we will see that 